Welcome. We're going to be doing a morning flow to get your day started. All of the props are optional. You could have um, a balance cushion or a folded up blanket, uh, a half air ball, and a cushion for the forehead if you need. We're going to be starting with some heel drops. So if you're worried about making a lot of noise or want to protect your heels, you can use a balance cushion or just a folded up uh, blanket. The knees are going to stay uh, soft. And you're just going to rise a little bit up on the toes and then let the heels drop down. And we'll continue this just a few times, rising a little bit up. And as you let the heels drop, you just let the, don't control it, let them really fall down so that the vibration can pass uh, through the body all the way to the head. Inhaling up and then exhaling to drop down just four more times. Inhaling to exhale, drop, and you get to enjoy that feeling of the, of the heels dropping and the rebound uh, through the body. Three, one more time. And then once the heels are down, we'll stay with the heels down. The left hand can just come rest comfortably on the front of the chest. Right arm out in front of you, you're looking at your fingers and the right arm is going to start to go back behind you as much as it feels uh, nice. And then you can bring the arm back in front of you. The shoulder relax, breath soft, opening the arm back. You let the shoulder, the ribs, the hips move however it feels good. Just two more times. So you're looking at your fingers. Sometimes the eyes will try to rush you. Try to really stay with your hand. And then this is our last uh, one. Keeping the knees soft, the feet uh, planted. And then the left arm out in front. Check that the shoulder can relax. And then letting the arm go back behind you. And coming to the front and just starting to notice how it feels. So nothing needs to feel particularly uh, exciting now. We just want to get a little bit of movement through the arm, the shoulder, the ribs, the spine. And two more times. You might notice one arm moves differently than the other. Just getting a sense. We'll finish one more time. And then the arm can come down. So if you're up on something, it can go just to the side. And then we're going to make our way down uh, to sitting. So you can relax the chin towards the chest. And taking a moment to roll down, noticing how everything feels. And then bending the knees. We're going to find our way sitting with the knees bent and the feet flat on the floor and you're going to find um, a comfortable position where you can just curl up into a ball so you make yourself kind of as small as possible and we just take a few deep breaths here so the neck is relaxed you're focusing on your inhale really breathing into the back and side of the ribs easy exhale As you breathe in, feel the air move from the nose down the throat into the ribs. Also expanding into the belly. Usually in the morning this feels like quite a big stretch, so take care. One more deep breath. And then finding your way up to sitting and then moving into the sphinx position. So you'll have the elbows underneath the shoulders and you're going to press the arms uh, down and press the pubic bone down. And we're just going to breathe here. So you have your nice inhale through the nose, breathing into the back and side of the ribs, into the belly. And with your exhale, you're feeling belt around the waist now. So you're activating your abdominals. And just feeling the skeleton and breathing. 
Inhaling deep and exhaling strong. Just introducing the, the idea to the shoulders of that east and west uh, feeling. And starting to ask the abdominals to kick in. We'll take three more breaths. If you'd like, you could start to press the knees a little bit down so the hips would just come a teeny bit uh, up. If you've done that, you'll feel abdominals even more. And then one more breath. With the inhale, you can relax uh, down onto the forehead. If you need a cushion, you can take one. The hands are going to be underneath the shoulders. Gently pressing the feet down, the hands down, the pubic bone down. You're going to open the front of the chest and draw the chin in to take the head up. The eyes stay pointing down for now. Two deep breaths. Feel the energy through the spine, reaching the spine in two directions, the hands pressing down. We're going to move in and out of this position now. So on your inhale, you can relax the head down, release the hands and shoulders. And then exhaling to come up. Inhaling down. And exhaling up. Two more times, abdominal strong as you exhale. Pressing the hands down, opening the chest. And then this time when you're down, you can stay down. And you're going to find just a little bit of that pressure. So you open the chest and just press a little bit the hands down. Squeeze a little bit the elbows in. And we're going to bend our uh, right leg so the heel is flexed and the knee is down. Wiggle the hips. Find even weight uh, through the front of the pelvis. And then on an exhale with strong abdominals, you're going to lift that right leg a little bit up. And then inhale to let the knee tap down. Exhaling up and inhaling down. So we want to activate the hamstrings a little bit, the glute here, the butt. Exhaling up, inhaling down. We take four more times and you're starting to bring some awareness into the pelvis. So the front of the hips are balanced and you're trying to support with your exhale with belt around the waist and you're noticing that the hips aren't moving right or left you stay balanced in the pelvis last time with the right leg inhaling to relax the right leg down and then bending the left flexing the foot as you exhale Pressing the left leg up a little bit, inhaling down and noticing it usually takes a couple of times to get organized. So you're feeling the, the arms gently active, shoulders wide, elbows squeezing just a little bit towards each other, pelvis balanced. And four more breaths, the neck relaxed. And just getting a sense for how this feels. So the pubic bone stays pressed down, so you're long through that low spine. Letting the breath guide you, exhaling up, inhaling down. And then last time, once this leg is down, you can stretch the leg long, relax the shoulders, the hips can have a shake. And then you can turn onto the, the back. I'm going to flip around, but you can keep your head uh, where it is. So once you're laying down on the back, just hugging the knees in towards the chest for a moment. Two deep breaths. And then putting one foot 
down at a time. We're going to scoop the pelvis. So you're going to flatten that low back and you feel the, the vertebra dropping down. You press a little bit the feet into the floor. Arms are coming up towards the ceiling. You feel your shoulder blades heavy. Deep breath in with the exhale. Two arms move back behind you. And then inhaling the arms towards the ceiling. Exhaling the arms back. Inhaling up. Two more breaths. Feel the spine stable as the arms move back. Keep the feet pressing down, that scoop in the pelvis. And then once the arms are back towards the, the ceiling, they can relax down. If you have the half air ball, you could put it underneath the pelvis. Um, but it's completely optional. If you're on the ball, um, actually we can all take a moment just to feel, feel neutral. And we start to move the legs. So with your next exhale with a stable pelvis, the right knee comes up. You exhale, adding the left. The shins are coming to 90 degrees, arms towards the ceiling. So we're doing some toe taps uh, now with uh, two arms moving back. So with the next exhale, your right leg moves down, two arms move back behind you, inhaling back to center, Exhaling, left leg, two arms, deep breath in. And continuing to switch sides. And especially in the morning, challenge yourself to do a complete uh, breath. So you're really breathing fully. And then whatever speed you're moving, we're gonna take around six more breaths. See if it can speed just a little bit up. So it's just outside of what your kind of natural tempo would be this morning. Exhaling one leg, two arms, deep breath in, releasing through the neck. And as we get ready to finish, just one more time each way. Check in with your inhale that it's full will help you get a, a nicer exhale. And once you're even hugging the knees and towards the chest, maybe letting the head roll from side to side. And then one foot down the time, carefully lifting the hips up if you're on the ball. And we'll make our way up to sitting. So you want to sit uh, cross-legged if it's um, more comfortable to sit up on something. Um, we want you to be very comfortable now. Interlace the fingers. You're going to reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Keep the neck relaxed. Two deep breaths. Pressing the hands, trying to rela release the base of the skull. And as you inhale, relaxing the arms down, interlace the hands behind the back, reach the knuckles to where the wall meets the floor, squeeze a bit those shoulder blades together, carefully looking up if that feels okay for the neck. And then releasing the arms one more time, interlace the fingers, this time press the arms forward so the upper back is rounding, the chin is gently nodding. And again, breathing into that upper back. And then releasing the arms down. We're going to interlace the hands now behind the head where the spine meets the skull. And you're going to relax the chin towards the chest. So if this feels like a nice stretch, that would be um, good. If it feels like the arms are too heavy, you can also release the hands down. For these last few moments, as long as this doesn't create any pain, you can gently press the head back into the hands, and that shouldn't, again, hurt at all. One more deep breath. And then releasing the hands, letting the head float up. 
And then we'll take the elbows in towards the body. So these upper arm bones are going to squeeze in. As they squeeze in, the shoulder blades are going to, the collar bones are going to move east and west. The next day is relax, spreading the fingers. Imagine your thumbs want to touch behind the back. Two deep breaths. And just noticing that little bit of effort through the backs of the arms underneath the armpits. And then release. Right arm down, left arm up, inhaling over to the right. As you exhale, we're already coming back to center. Inhaling over to the left and exhaling up. Two more each way. Inhaling, find a comfortable range. Exhaling up. Breathe into that right side of the ribs as you bend to the left. Exhaling, one more each way noticing how it feels from side to side and then we'll stay center you can take the cushion away and make the way onto all fours so from all fours we're going to take some opposite arm and leg reaches so you feel the hands pressing down you feel your natural curves through the spine the breath is active nice deep breath in with the exhale the right arm the left leg can reach long feeling what's in towards the floor and pressing it down the next time you exhale you can put that hand and knee back down feel your spine with your next exhale the left arm right leg again take a second to breathe here it's fine if it's a little bit wobbly feel your skeleton and then with an exhale come down if you'd like to add on we exhale again the right arm the left leg we could take a big curl here so as you exhale you could draw the knee towards the chest drop the chin and then as you inhale you could stretch long and then exhale to come back deep breath in exhaling left arm right leg if you're taking the curl on an exhale you feel abdominals pull the knee in towards the chest dropping the chin inhaling back long feeling the spine exhaling back we just do one more each way exhaling long inhale exhaling to curl inhaling long and exhaling back last time sometimes as we curl we use too much the arm to pull the knee really use that scoop from the abdominals to pull in and then from all fours now we take a plank so you stretch your right leg back behind you deep breath in exhale to add the left leg we take four breaths here so you have energy through the spine your legs are active remember that nice deep breath in exhaling belt around the waist and one more deep breath we're moving into a downward dog from here so you might need to bring the feet a little bit in find the spine as straight as you can maybe bend the knees a little bit and then stretching the legs as much as you can keeping length in the low back and then walking the hands towards the feet nice deep breath in to hang as you exhale bending the knees pressing the feet down to roll up to standing we're just going to be standing for a moment so you'll have the elbows uh, back in towards the body so these upper arm bones are squeezing in just like we did sitting you spread your fingers wide east and west with the collarbones and you can let the right foot come a little bit out in front of you so you're on the ball of the right uh, foot energy through the top of the head this left bum is squeezing a little bit to the right and pressing a tiny bit forward so you're really up on this leg and we're just going to bicycle a few times so the right leg uh, is going straight back 
bending and coming forward. You could flex as you go back and point as you come forward. So just a moment of a balancing play. And then we're going to reverse. So you go straight through the middle, bend up and then back. This whole time you're up on this left uh, side. The left knee is a little bit uh, bent. Last two, you're breathing. Once this leg is straight back behind you, coming in. If you have your balance pad or uh, cushion, you could use it uh, here to make the balance even more difficult. Left foot out in front of you, activate the arms again, feel that right bum squeezing in, pressing a little bit forward, the right knee soft, and then starting to bicycle. The leg goes back and bends forward, flexing back, pointing forward, little lift in low abdominals, releasing through the neck, and then starting to reverse the circle. So you go straight from the back to the front, bending and moving the leg back. And just seeing how it feels on this side, try to really stay up on that right leg. Last two. And just noticing that little bit of effort through the legs, relaxing the arms. And then just one more time, relaxing the chin towards the chest, softening down. We're going to find our way into the child's pose. So you have the toes together, the knees as wide as it feels good, and you relax down. And just a moment to drop here. So getting as comfortable as you can. Letting all of those efforts go. Two more deep breaths. And waiting for an exhale to bring the hands underneath the shoulders and helping yourself up to sitting. So this was uh, a quick flow to get your day started. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. See you next time.